As you walk along the streets of Toronto, you can feel the city's energy buzzing in the air. The towering skyscrapers loom over you, while the iconic CN Tower stands like a proud guardian of the city. There is no shortage of things to do in Toronto, and we want to introduce you to our must-see list of places to visit during your stay. Whether you are a returning traveler or visiting Toronto for the first time, there is something for everyone to enjoy in this fantastic city. So soak up the vibrant atmosphere and enjoy everything that Toronto has to offer. The peak season runs from June to August when visitors can enjoy the summer weather. If you're looking for a slightly quieter experience, the shoulder season, which runs from April to June and September and October, might be more your style. And for those who love a bargain, the off season, which runs from November to March, offers great deals on hotels, restaurants, and attractions. But be prepared for snow. Top 10 Attractions in Toronto. Ripley's Aquarium of Canada. Ripley's Aquarium of Canada is a must-see attraction for tourists and locals of all ages. It is located in the heart of downtown Toronto, at the base of the famous CN Tower and it is home to thousands of marine animals from across the world. With its stunning architecture and fascinating exhibits, Ripley's Aquarium is a magical place that you'll never want to leave. CN Tower The CN Tower is a marvel of engineering, standing at an impressive 553.33 meters, or 1,750 feet. It's a popular destination for tourists and locals alike, with award-winning dining and entertainment options. The CN Tower is near and dear to our hearts as Canadians, owned by a crown corporation that does a lot of good for people across the country, with proceeds from their licensee program being donated to United Way. While we have your attention, please take a minute to check out unitedway.ca and consider donating to this nonprofit that helps build up communities across the country. So if you're looking for a classic Toronto experience, the CN Tower should be at the top of your list. One of the most popular tours in the area begins with an elevator ride to the top of the tower, followed by many more top spots, and includes the St. Lawrence Market, as mentioned next. St. Lawrence Market. Oh, the sweet and savory smells of St. Lawrence Markets. With more than 200 vendors, this historic landmark has something for everyone. Sample fresh pasta, lobster, artisanal bread, and so much more while enjoying the charming atmosphere. Toronto Island Park. A hidden gem in Toronto is the Toronto Island Park. It is one of the best things to do in Toronto. The islands are located right in the heart of downtown Toronto, so you can have a picnic, light a campfire, go fishing, rent a bike or boat, and more while enjoying spectacular views. Each island has its own personality with so many activities. You can take an old-fashioned rowboat ride or explore the trails on foot. Amusement rides for children are also available to make your day even more magical. Also, guided bike tours on the islands are a top-rated option. Royal Ontario Museum. It is a museum unlike any other. The Royal Ontario Museum brings together all cultures of the world. This place gives you a sense of history and tells stories from every corner of the globe. You might not be able to do everything in one day, but you'll always have something new to explore when you return. It's recommended to spend at least four hours here for the full experience. Tickets can be bought at the entrance of the museum or online through the link below. However, please note that many reviewers were unable to skip the line with the online ticket and had to go through the same process as buying a ticket at the museum. The Distillery District The Distillery District is one of Ontario's most popular tourist attractions. It features a pedestrian-only area with galleries, fashion, design, jewelry boutiques, live theaters with internationally acclaimed performances, award-winning restaurants, and unique cafes. There's plenty to do on your own, but there are some affordable walking tours that add value to the whole experience. Casa Loma. 
Sitting atop a hill in the heart of Toronto is Casa Loma, a majestic castle established as a museum in 1937. Step back in time as you explore this Gothic Revival-style castle, complete with beautiful gardens and breathtaking views of Toronto. With the help of multimedia audio guides, you can experience the castle at your leisure and learn all about its history. As mentioned after the CN Tower section, there is a highly rated private tour that makes sure to stop at Casa Loma, along with many other must-see places. Art Gallery of Ontario The Art Gallery of Ontario is one of the most magnificent art museums in North America. Boasting an impressive collection of over 90,000 pieces, it is a must-see destination for any art lover visiting Toronto. There is something for everyone at the AGO, from ancient masterpieces to contemporary Canadian works. Tickets can be purchased in person or online at their website linked below. Rogers Centre The Rogers Centre is an integral part of the Toronto experience. Home of the Toronto Blue Jays, it's the first stadium with a retractable roof with 348 hotel rooms attached to it and 70 rooms where you can see the field. Depending on when you're here, you can also see concerts, monster truck shows, circuses, and more. Steam Whistle Brewery Another great tourist attraction in Toronto is Steam Whistle Brewery. The location is within walking distance of the CN Tower and Rogers Centre. It occupies bays 1 through 14 within the old John Street Roundhouse building, previously home to the Canadian Pacific Railway Steam Locomotive Repair Facility. Top 10 Day Trips Around Toronto Niagara Falls if you can make a trip out from Toronto, Niagara Falls is a must visit. There are many options with tour operators. They offer hotel pickup and drop off, as well as the Hornblower Niagara Cruise or Made of Mist tickets, which can be purchased when you arrive. There's also a wine tasting included in the tour. However, it's not necessary to take a tour out to the falls. We have been to Niagara Falls plenty of times and enjoyed the scenic spots and walking around Clifton Hill. For grabbing a bite to eat, we recommend the Rainforest Cafe. Or for a more high-end experience, try Skylon Tower Revolving Dining Room. Fly Over Toronto Fly over Toronto in a helicopter and see the city from a whole new perspective. Marvel at the downtown skyline, the beautiful waterfront, and more. This is a brief but stunning helicopter ride that you'll never forget. The only downside is that the trip is over way too quickly, but luckily you'll have your picture to remember it forever. Kensington Market Toronto's Neighborhood International Food Tour Wander through the colorful streets of Kensington Market, where you can find an endless variety of international cuisine, sample delicious food from all around the world, and enjoy the vibrant atmosphere. With so many options, it can be hard to know where to start, but this tour will take you to some of the best spots in the market. You'll also get to skip the typically long lines at these popular destinations. Toronto Craft Brewery Tour Take a journey to discover the best craft breweries Toronto has to offer. With visits to some of the most popular and renowned breweries, this tour is perfect for beer lovers who want to learn about the brewing process and taste some of the finest craft beers in the city. Plus, the transport between venues provided, everyone in your group can join in on the fun without having to worry about driving. Downtown Toronto Bike Tour Ride through the heart of downtown Toronto on this fun and leisurely bike tour. Take in the sights of popular attractions such as Chinatown, Kensington Market, the Hockey Hall of Fame, and City Hall, as well as charming out-of-the-way spots. Learn about Toronto's history and culture, and taste local foods at the markets along the way. An experience you won't want to miss. Dog sledding and snowshoeing tour from Toronto. 
The beauty of Ontario's heavy snowfall makes for a day of fun and relaxation. Enjoy the best of what Canada has to offer on a 12-hour tour and escape city life. The trip starts with comfortable transportation from busy streets to a serene farm in North Ontario. Next, you'll enjoy the thrill of dog sledding, snowshoeing, and snow tubing along the private trails. In between, warm up by the fireside with a much needed chilly lunch. This is fun for anyone, whether you're local or from overseas. We have personally enjoyed meeting with dog sled teams and seeing them in action. It's a unique experience you'll cherish for a lifetime, especially if you're only in Canada for a short time. Think of the stories you can share when you return home. Niagara Wine Region Tour plus Toronto Walking Tour. It's not only the best of Toronto, but also the Niagara Wine Region that you'll get to explore on this day. Your guide will pick you up from your hotel in Toronto and bring you out to the Wine Region, where you'll have your first stop at a winery. Learn about Ontario's wine scene and what has made it so popular, as well as hear fascinating tales of its history. There are four vineyards where you'll have tastings and learn more about Ontario's fascinating history. Then you'll be brought back to Toronto with the Toronto Walking Tour Pass, so you can explore all the city has to offer too. Toronto Zoo. The Toronto Zoo is the perfect place to connect with animals and learn about conservation. Drive through the zoo and enjoy the sounds of nature or take a stroll on one of their new walking routes. It's an excellent zoo to visit, especially with the kids. It's a vast zoo with animals and plants found from all around the world. Algonquin Group Camping Adventure. Picture this, you and your friends are canoeing down pristine waterways, taking in the fresh air and beauty of the Canadian wilderness. As the sun sets, you gather around the campfire, roasting marshmallows and telling stories under the starry sky. Best of all, you're spending two days in one of Canada's most beautiful provincial parks, Algonquin Provincial Park. Prepare to experience sun-kissed waters, hike to a lookout that takes your breath away, and canoe or kayak. This excursion takes care of all of the planning and equipment for you, so you can fully appreciate the outdoors hassle-free. Ontario Science Centre as you walk along the streets of Toronto, you can't help but be in awe of the Ontario Science Centre. This museum has been an integral part of the city for years, and it's easy to see why. With its planetarium, AstraZeneca Human Edge, climbing wall, and more, this museum is perfect for children and adults alike. 10 Best Places to Eat in Toronto. 360, the restaurant at the CN Tower. The 360 restaurant at the CN Tower offers a one-of-a-kind view of unmatched views of Toronto down below. And for that reason, it is one of the most popular places to have dinner in this city. We recommend trying out the fresh regional cuisine and enjoying their unique dishes. Amsterdam Brew House. The Amsterdam Brew House is the perfect place to spend an afternoon. The menu showcases some of the most creative uses of beer and elements of the entire brewing process. From cooking with spent grains, making reductions from young beer, and creating braises and sauces from our many brewed on-site adventure beers, they use it wherever they are able. The pier location, directly on Toronto's waterfront, provides an unparalleled 270-degree view of Lake Ontario. It's the perfect place to spend an afternoon with friends. Richmond Station. Richmond Station is a place where your taste buds can explore the flavors of the world. So whether you're in the mood for American, international, or Canadian cuisine, Richmond Station has something to satisfy your cravings. With delicious food and excellent hospitality, Richmond Station is a must-visit destination in Toronto. The Keg Steakhouse and Bar. The Keg Steakhouse and Bar is the perfect place to celebrate any occasion. With its luxurious setting and delicious food, the keg will make you feel like a king or queen. No matter what location you choose, you're sure to have an amazing time. Canoe Restaurant and Bar 
Canoe Restaurant and Bar provides outstanding, high-end cuisine in a stunning panoramic setting. Best of all, Canoe is nestled high atop the CD Bank Tower and offers a breathtaking view of the city and Lake Ontario. Scaramouche Restaurant Scaramouche is a restaurant with a long history of commitment to its customers. The service is perfect for each customer's dining experience, and the food only makes it better. Diners are also provided with views of Toronto's skyline at night, which is something you will never forget. Jack Astor's At Jack's, the party never stops. This popular restaurant knows how to keep the good times rolling with delicious food and drinks that will keep you coming back for more. So whether you're in the mood for some pizza, chicken wings, or a juicy burger, Jack's has got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the company of your friends at this Toronto hotspot. Mill Street Brew Pub. Mill Street Brew Pub is a cozy environment that offers a diverse menu of food and beverages. Everyone who visits this place can't help but enjoy themselves. The staff is always very welcoming and accommodating to any customer's needs. It feels like you're at home when drinking your fresh craft beer from the Mill Street Brew Pub. The Mill Street Brew Pub is an excellent choice for those looking to have a good time with friends or on their own as they sample some of the best beers in Toronto and try some delicious food. Rodney's Oyster House. At Rodney's Oyster House, they take seafood seriously. They insist on importing the seafood themselves so that their guests can enjoy the freshest oysters, lobsters, king crab, halibut, salmon, haddock, arctic char, and walleye. The seafood is carefully prepared for the discriminating palate. George Restaurant. George Restaurant is a top-rated fine dining restaurant in the heart of downtown Toronto. George Restaurant is the ultimate Toronto destination for an elevated food experience. Chef Lorenzo Losetto, who is widely regarded as one of the best restaurant chefs in the country today, oversees the kitchen. Best known for its tasting menus and worldly wine list, George offers inspired cuisine from coast to coast and around the world. Where to stay? In case you haven't already booked your stay in Toronto, we have some recommendations for where to stay. As you've seen from the different attractions and tour ideas, you're going to be best served to get a hotel in the downtown core. For a high-end option, the Fairmont Royal York Hotel is a must. For mid-range options, we recommend staying at either the Intercontinental Toronto Center or the Doubletree by Hilton Toronto Downtown. For an economy option in the downtown core, check out One King West Hotel and Residence. In conclusion, Toronto is a city with so many things to do and see. The 30 best things to do in Toronto list will show you some of the best attractions in this great city. Whether it's for work or fun, there are plenty of places that offer something new and exciting. You'll never get bored in Toronto.